I'm Matt. I'm a uh, worship leader, guitar player, occasional YouTuber. It's been a little while since I uploaded anything, and I apologize for that. I was moving. Uh, this is my new space. I'm very excited about that. But I'm all I'm in here. I'm all set up. I'm hoping to get back into this. So what I wanted to talk about today is the first guitar pedal that I ever had. I was, I'm sure, 12, maybe 13. And I had this DoD Icebox, the FX64, for some years. I remember using it a lot in my thrash metal band for like clean passages and stuff. This was the late 90s. So, you know, like Nirvana and a lot of the bands that are most associated with chorus and guitar were were ascendant. And I loved it. You know, it was so much fun. I do not recall what happened to mine. I'm sure somewhere along the line, I went through an anti 90s phase where I was just like, chorus is dated and I got rid of it. But for one thing, chorus has had a major comeback lately. And for another, I've been feeling really nostalgic about it. I, if I had known I would grow up to be like just an absolute out of control pedal nerd, I would have saved the first one I ever had for like just historical purposes. I did not know that was where my life would take me. Anyway, I went through a phase where I was feeling really nostalgic and wistful about it. And I happened to mention it to my wife and then Christmas came and she had tracked one down for me. I was very excited about that. You know, I plugged it in, confirmed that it worked, confirmed that it was still pretty fun. I've used it on an album since then. It's on a metal thing that I just re-recorded. But it's been kind of knocking around the studio. I look at it every so often and it makes me happy or I plug it in. But I did not really anticipate that it would end up on my primary pedal board only because I own the Boss CE2W Wazacraft Chorus, which is like one of the best chorus pedals that money can buy. And so I'm like, you know, I love the Icebox. I'm happy to have it again as a, a piece of my my own guitar playing history, but what's it going to do, kick the, the Wazacraft off of my board? And then this weekend I got curious, and I'm like, let me shoot them out against each other. I just want to know. And it kicked the Wazacraft off of my board. <laughs> I, I truly don't know what to do with this information. I'm as surprised as anybody, but I like it better and it's, it's on here now. So I thought I would talk about this pedal a little, try it out, mess with it, and then kind of bounce back and forth between them a little bit and talk about why a out-of-print, under-respected pedal from the 90s just dethroned what I thought was going to be my like, lifetime chorus pedal. So the DoD pedals, I feel like anybody who is of my age and was playing guitar back then remembers these. They were along the same lines as a Boss or an MXR or something in terms of like they were just in all the stores and you saw them. They're probably most notorious for making the grunge pedal. That one I have not attempted to track down and, and reminisce about. It's I'm sure it sounds bad. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know. But a lot of their other ones are starting to have a, a reappraisal lately. I know the, the JHS show goes on about DoD sometimes, and they reissued several of these. So they're having a bit of a comeback, but I, I feel like in general they're an under-respected line of pedals, and most of them are still out of print. So I'm going to start with this, just with the knobs all at noon. I actually like this setting a lot. This is kind of my go-to setting is just knobs at noon. It kind of boots up sounding good in this configuration. So this is my clean tone. And then here's with the DoD. So I'm going to try and refrain from making any more ice or cold related puns than I really need to during this thing. But the Icebox is an apropos name for this. It's a very cold sounding. It's a it's an icy chorus. There are there are warm choruses and there are cold choruses, and I do think of this as a cold one. I'm gonna preface this by saying I may have just imprinted on this chorus sound very young, and this is in my this is the platonic ideal of what a chorus is that lives in my head, and that's why I find the warm ones kind of dissatisfying. I know that's just personal preference, but there's something about, especially with open strings and like open chords. <laughs> There's something satisfying about that clarity and the um, shimmeriness of this. By comparison, the, the CE2W is a much warmer, kind of chewier pedal, which sounds like this. Which 
which is not bad. I mean, these are all subtle differences I'm going to be talking about here, but it doesn't quite have that same shimmery, sparkly quality. And if I switch this over to the CE2 mode, which is the other chorus mode on this thing, it's even less so. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm hearing. In this, I, I tend to avoid this mode. I feel like it's actually adding bass to my signal somehow. It sounds boomier and duller than with it off. Like I favor a pretty clean, pristine kind of guitar signal some good high-end content to it. That's just, that's my preference. And if I kick the boss on, I lose so much of that. main theses of this video is going to be that I really think the icebox transfers my pristine like normal guitar signal through more unmolested. The boss one really changes the the underlying tone of the guitar a lot and I think it's because the icebox has a clean blend. In fact, why don't I test that? DoD did this irritating thing where none of the knob names mean anything. They're called ice, cold, deep and freeze. Let me see what those actually are. It looks like ice is probably the clean blend to some degree. I mean, you definitely hear more chorus with that up, but I'm still hearing my guitar signal pretty. Like the transient, the pick attack on the strings. Really comes through. I guess that's the clean blend. Maybe it's just the amount of chorus. Maybe it doesn't go to 100% wet. Let's see, the second knob here, cold, is the rate. Let's mess with that. It's probably gonna sound awful. a fast chorus that much except as a weird special effect but I still like it at noon. It's it, you can make it a little more subtle by backing off that cold knob, and then the deep control is the depth. That's like the only one that is intuitive. So here, super deep. Thank you. 
the second main point that I discovered about the icebox that I think really sets it apart is this final knob, which is called freeze and is a high EQ. On, on the versions of this pedal where they actually label the knobs instead of trying to be cute, it's I think it's called high EQ. My understanding is that it's only EQing the chorus signal, not your dry tone, but you can really boost the high end if you want that super cold, shimmery thing. And then you can back it off for more of a warm, subtler, darker thing. So the other sort of nail in the coffin for me on the, the Wazacraft was that this darker tone the Wazacraft is great at. both do that, but then the icebox can do this super cold thing. I don't feel like the boss can quite get to that shimmery cold thing. It also sometimes sounds a little like a flanger to me. I don't know what that's about. I've heard people describe the boss chorus as chewy, which, you know, audio words are weird, but I think that's probably what they're describing as that sort of flangery, like resonant quality that it has. something about that that I like. It doesn't have the chewiness, but I think maybe that's not a quality I enjoy in a chorus anyway. It's very pristine and sparkly. They both sound pretty good down on the low strings. <laughs> introduce ringing high notes. It's a lot more of a difference. So anyway, it was a surprise to me how much I liked this thing. I mean, it works out well. It's There's something kind of appealing about having the first pedal I ever owned back on my board as a grown adult. If you've been sleeping on the DoD Icebox and you like your choruses kind of chimey and dry like I do, You might want to see if you can track one of these down. They seem to vary a lot in price in terms of what's out there. I don't think that they're as highly regarded as they maybe ought to be. They're made in America. They're analog. I definitely think they're under-respected for, for what they are. Anyway, DoD Icebox, my first pedal ever, back in the game. Thanks for watching. Hello. If you've been around the channel for a while, you might notice that I just changed the name of it after about eight years of it just being my name. The reason for that is I've started a business called The Fever's Audio. 
it's going to be recording, mixing, song production, session playing, anything in that area. Don't expect the focus of this channel to change at all. It's still going to be, you know, guitar pedals, gear demos, music production stuff, guitar walkthroughs, the things I normally do around here. But I'm trying because of the business, I'm trying to standardize my handles all across the internet. So that's what that's about. While I'm talking about it, if you're in the Phoenix area and you need any recording done on uh, music or a podcast or anything like that, hit me up. If you're not local, but you want anything mixed, session playing done, a song produced for a channel or a podcast or something that you're doing, anything that I can do remotely, you know, feel free to hit me up on that too if you're not nearby. So the website's lefeversaudio.com. It'll be linked around here. Otherwise, don't expect any big changes to the channel, but that's what's up with the name update. Thanks for watching.